Item Number SCP-3583 Object Class Neutralized Euclid Special Containment Procedures As all attempts to take SCP-3583 into custody have resulted in it decohering into its component parts, and a new instance manifesting within three days, containment is focused on supervising its behavior, and on information control. Foundation personnel have been embedded among the employees of SCP-3583's preferred school. For monitoring purposes, three Foundation personnel are to embark on SCP-3583 at the end of each school day. Except for purposes of approved experimentation and behavior pattern SCP-3583-2, no more than four personnel are to embark. Standard Internet monitoring bots have been set to watch video sharing sites for further copies of videos made from within SCP-3583. All such copies are to be taken down. SCP-3583 is a school bus which displays multiple anomalous properties, the most evident of which is that it is autonomous. The driver's seat is empty at all times, and an unknown force prevents it from being occupied. Similarly, the steering wheel and brake and accelerator pedals do not respond to manipulation. As well, close inspection reveals that it is composed of a wide variety of mismatched school bus parts, held together by an unknown force. SCP-3583 associates itself with Public School in the town of Oklahoma. At 3.20 p.m. each school day, SCP-3583 manifests in a random location in the bus zone outside the school, opens its door, and waits seven minutes. During this interval, a maximum of 56 children may embark of their own volition. A maximum of eight adults will also be able to embark, which each adult apparently being considered equal to two children. If, after seven minutes, SCP-3583 does not contain its desired number of passengers, it begins to honk its horn. This produces a cognitohazardous effect, whereby all children within hearing range will enter a fugue state, abandon their other activities, and embark on SCP-3583. If there are insufficient children within hearing range, the horn will become progressively louder. Once SCP-3583 contains the desired number of passengers, it will demanifest from the bus zone and enter an anomalous region of space, hence force SCP-3583-A. SCP-3583-A is recognizably based on the town of, but with multiple divergences, including, but not limited to, violent civil unrest, seismic and volcanic activity, frequent high-voltage electrical discharges, inconsistent gravity, building fires, predatory megafauna, open military conflict with public mass executions, and animate cadavers of varying degrees of decomposition and mutilation. In SCP-3583-A, SCP-3583 will engage in one of two distinct behavior patterns, depending on how many adults are present. Behavior Pattern 1 0-4 Adults SCP-3583 will drive through SCP-3583-A until it reaches the counterpart of an individual child residence. Although standard school bus drop-off points exist, SCP-3583 ignores them. There, it will return to normal space and allow the child to disembark. It will then return to SCP-3583-A, proceed to the counterpart of another child residence, and continue in this fashion until all the children have disembarked. Afterward, it will deliver any adults to their individual residences in the same fashion. Once the last adult has disembarked, SCP-3583 will demanifest. Behavior Pattern 2 5-8 Adults SCP-3583 will emerge from SCP-3583-A at the site of historic mass casualty events. Identified sites include the World Trade Center, Kaolack, Pompeii, and Nanjing in the days or weeks prior to their occurrence. 
passengers have been able to ping Foundation satellites and servers as applicable, but satellite and server records from the relevant eras do not indicate the pings in question. Similarly, video taken from within SCP-3583 has been found to be a 100% match for all available historical footage, but no such footage has been found to contain SCP-3583. SCP-3583 will then drive around the site for between 45 and 150 minutes, after which it will engage in Behavior Pattern 1. Interview Log 3583-08-F2X Interview Subject Principal We expected you a lot sooner. We sent a half dozen reports back when it first showed up. What took you so long? Uh, we looked into it, and it turns out that, uh, somewhere along the line before they got to us… I should emphasize. The reports were processed by a person who decided you were, uh, intoxicated and hallucinating. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. I'll have you know, I've been clean for fifteen years, five months. Who's the bastard who says I fell off the wagon, was it? Really, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. I don't actually know. Any if I did, I couldn't tell you. <sighs> okay, fine. So if it wasn't our reports, how'd you find out about it? Some of the kids started posting videos online. Oh shit. Yeah, tell me about it. Took us a good week to scrub them all. You can do that? We can do a lot of stuff. But not actually stop it from coming back, I guess. Well, doesn't look like it, no. How far did you get it before it fell apart? The first time, we actually got it into the secured garage, but now it lets go as soon as we hauled it off the school property. I could have warned you, you know. We did try getting rid of it ourselves at first. Clamped its wheels and towed it off to the dump. Poof! Bus parts all over the road. One of our people suggested we legally expand your school's area, see if that'd do anything but… Oh. Is that why there were surveyors all over the place last month? Yeah, we figured it'd be a good idea to start small before we got into expropriating all your neighbors. Didn't make a difference, but um, enjoy your extra 1,000 square feet. Ha! <laughs> of all the things I expected from you men and black assholes, space for a new playground wasn't one of them. Halfway thought you might shut us down. We did seriously consider that, actually. Oh. But if we do that, if you're not here, it might just find some other school. We can't take that risk, so we'll embed some of our people and your staff to keep an eye on it. How many? Uh, probably not more than six? I don't have the budget for that. No, we'll handle their salaries. Huh. Must be nice. Uh, I guess so. Anyway, before I leave. I wanted to thank you hmm? for being so reasonable about this. A lot of the time, if we have to leave the uh, anomaly on site, the locals get upset. Well, yeah, if we really wanted it gone, we wouldn't have stopped reporting it. My bosses will want an explanation for that. You can't just tell them we don't mind having it here? Hey, come on, would you accept that? <sighs> Look. Whatever it is, it pretty clearly wants to be a school bus, and it's not doing that bad a job. I mean, hell dimension aside, it's got a perfect safety record. Been doing this five years, and it's never so much as had a kid get hurt in a fight. I've had living drivers who can't say that, and, okay, look, can I be honest with you? Please do? Do you realize how much a school bus costs? Just a bus. Not even counting the fuel and the maintenance and the driver. With what we've saved since this thing showed up, we were able to hire a music teacher. 